Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It has been quite some time. Honestly, I'm like, I'm like nervous. I have like stage fright right now. It's been a while and that is because I moved. I did mention in some of my previous videos that I was in the middle of like searching for a house, buying a house, well, I bought a house and now I moved. So moving has been pretty hectic, so that's why I haven't filmed anything. That's kind of why I've been MIA. I don't know if any of you guys follow me on any of my other social medias, but I've been on Snapchat kind of updating. So some of you might know that I have been working on a beauty room. I am not filming like inches away from my bed anymore. I actually have a room for my vanity and all that stuff, which is like super duper exciting to me. And so I'm just coming up with different ideas for filming and lighting and backgrounds and stuff like that. So this is what we have for the moment. And actually, I'm gonna light that candle. One second. Ta da Doesn't look pretty. Okay, so anyway, what I was saying is I've been gone for a few months and, well, like one and a half months. Still kind of a long time. But I've still been trying tons and tons of beauty products and I was gonna make this like my most recent current favorites because I have still been trying a lot of stuff. But this video actually took priority for me. And this is a review, actually first impressions slash tutorial, all that jazz, on the Laura Lee ColourPop and KLA collaboration. Okay, so I'm not going to go over all the statistics and all of that that Laura Lee goes over in her video. I really encourage you to watch it because it has a lot of really good information. But basically, Laura Lee and ColourPop collabed for... NKLA, which is a no-kill shelter in LA. So hello, makeup, animals, we just combined two of my favorite things. So of course I was interested in purchasing this. And even better, 100% of the proceeds goes towards the animal shelter in LA. There needs to be more no-kill shelters throughout the country, throughout the world really, but this is how it starts. So of course I was more than happy to buy this, not only for myself, but if you're interested in buying it for yourself or as, you know, maybe a Christmas present or birthday present or something like that, it's inexpensive and like I said, 100% of the proceeds goes towards helping animals. I just really feel like this is a purchase that you can feel good about buying. This really, really, really is like an important issue that's near and dear to my heart. I've always been the girl that's, I can't even kill a spider. Like I will save a spider and I will take it outside. So imagine how I feel about cats and dogs, etc. Um, you know, pe I've always been the person that people will call, hey, we found a stray cat. Can you help it? Yep. <laughs> hey, we found a squirrel that's injured. Will you help it? Sure. Hey, there's four stray ducklings. Will you take them? Yep. Hey, you know, there's a bird injured in the road. Will you take it? Yep. <laughs> so I just, I love animals. I love makeup. So of course, like I said, again, I was very, very pumped for this. I think it is a great, great, great collaboration with a really good cause. You know, I could go on and on about what an amazing cause this is and adopt don't shop there's a lot of animals that already need homes and i just really encourage you to consider that option of adopting i've got three rescues right now um they've all made an appearance at some point in my video i have chip who was rescued right off the street daisy who was rescued from an animal shelter she had been there the longest perfectly healthy she was like under a year old and she had been there five months, so she had been there the longest, so they were going to put her to sleep at the end of the week. So of course I took her. And I have Axel, he is my big, gigantic dinosaur of a dog. He was also at a shelter who is known for their high kill rate of Rottweilers, Boxers, Pits, all of those bigger breeds, which I believe he's probably all of those, and then some. So like I said, I have three rescues right now. I love them. They are my family, and they're amazing, and I can't imagine my life without them, and they're truly family to me. Anyway, enough about that. Let's actually jump into the makeup. Okay, so for $18, you can get the bundle of four eyeshadows, or they are five a piece, so you do save a little bit doing it in a bundle. And you get the shades Ritz, Glitz, Shiny, and Hiney. I will swatch these all for you. And I just dropped it. Oh, please be okay. Ah, oh, 
it's okay. Okay. Whew. All right. Which one do I want to swatch first? All right. I'm going to do the two metallics and then I'll do the two more matte shades. So first I'm going to swatch the one I just dropped, which is called Heine. Okay, so here is Heine. It is like a kind of sheerish rose gold glitter shade. Next, I'm going to next I'm going to swatch Ritz. which is a really pretty kind of neutral shimmer. All right, next I'm going to swatch Glitz for you, which these are a cream shadow, but this is matte, which is really pretty. That one's a little bit more pigmented than the, than the glittery ones. Last but not least, I'm going to swatch called Shiny. Ooh, that, that one I like. That one has a slight sheen to it. No glitter, but it does have a little bit of a shine to it. That's a really pretty color. I think that one's my favorite. It's like a burnt orangey red. I just realized too, because I was just on their site, there's two other colors called Puppy Love and Catnap that are not in the bundle. So I'm probably going to get those too, because those look really pretty. I didn't know they weren't in the bundle, but I guess I'm going to have to buy two more. Next, we have the lip bundle, which is $15 for three lip colors, or they are $6 a piece. So again, you still save a few bucks by doing it in a bundle. They come in the shades Wham, Glam, and Bam. So I will swatch all of those for you guys too. So first we have Wham, which is kind of like that first shimmery eyeshadow. This is going to be a gloss. Ooh. It's got that neutral undertone. It's not completely opaque, but it is very, very, very shimmery, very pretty. Next we have Glam, which is a rose gold metallic. This one is a bit more opaque, quite a bit more opaque than the first one. Extremely, extremely pretty though. And then next we have Bam, which is their ultra satin formula. And this is a really, really pretty holiday red. Ooh. So those are the three lip colors. Okay, so like I said, these are a cream formula, so I haven't really playing too much with these. I have a few of the ColourPop cream eyeshadows like this that are like a glitter shade that I put on the lid with my fingers, but I've never really played around with their cream kind of matte shades. So let's see how this goes. I think I'm going to take, yeah, let's see. I'm going to take Glitz. And I, it, actually now that I'm reading the back, they're not matte, it says it's satin. I'm going to take an IT Cosmetic, their crease brush, and just kind of dip into here. And that applies easier than I thought. If you've never played with the ColourPop shadows, what are these actually called? They have a million shadows. The Super Shock shadows, they have like a cushiony texture to them, so I wasn't sure how this was going to apply with a brush, but it's actually 
going on really well. Okay, so then I'm gonna take a slightly smaller crease brush and dip into the shade Shiny. And I'm gonna keep this a little bit lower in the crease because it is quite a bit darker. Last, I'm gonna take Ritz with a flat brush. And just like this and pat it all over the lid. Okay, so I finished the look without the look off camera. I put on my eyeliner and mascara. I mean, I'm not doing any false lashes today. Um, so this is the finished look. I think it applied really easy. I think it's really, really beautiful. That shimmer shade is gorgeous. Um, again, it has a name. What is it? Ritz. <laughs> that is the shade on the lid. So for this look, again, I use Shiny, Glitz, and Ritz. Um, I did not use Heine in this look. Maybe I will do another look because I kind of want to buy the other two shadows. I did not know they didn't come in this bundle, so that is something to be aware of. The other two, I guess, are just sold single and not in the bundle, which is, that's okay. I guess I didn't pay attention. That's my fault. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to buy the other two and then maybe I can do a look including the one that I didn't use today, but I did swatch it for you so you guys at least got to see it. And last but not least, I'm going to try on all the lip colors for you in just a second. I am going to line my lips because I always line my lips. I do not have a very defined lip line at all, so, oh, great. Let me sharpen this really quick. One second. Okay, so I'm lining my lips with an Urban Decay pencil in Liar. Okay, so now you guys have seen all of the lip shades as well. I really, really liked the lip colors, especially Glam, the rose gold one, the second one. I loved that. That was beautiful. But anyway, so yes, I am probably going to buy the other two shades of eyeshadow. Maybe do another video or if they're amazing, as amazing as everything else I just tried, it'll probably end up in a favorites video and you guys will see it then or sometime. I really, really enjoyed all of the colors of eyeshadow, all the lip, um, the glosses, and the ultra satin, and the metallic lip. <sighs> the gloss, the metallic lip, the ultra satin. I really, really liked all three. Really, really liked the eyeshadow. Great quality, great price, great cause. So this is one of those things that I would encourage you to buy if you are on the fence. And I think that's all I have for you guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. If this is your first time tuning in, thank you so much for watching. Or if you've tuned in before, thank you for continuing to watch. Don't forget to click on my face at the end to subscribe or the subscribe button in the description or down box, whatever it's called. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.